They're growing. My Brussels sprouts are growing. That's the first thing up. I'm so excited. Hey everybody, welcome to Insomnia with Nina Valdez. I have some awesome stuff for you tonight. I have my chicken and dumpling recipe and I have um, all kinds of crazy Easter prep stuff and I'm actually wearing makeup today because I put on makeup. Um, and also, let's see, I think I'm going to do for my next product review, I think I'm going to do the um, Garnier uh, Clearly Brighter Challenge. So, we'll see how all that goes. Love you guys. Let's get into it. I'm going to start out with some chicken thighs. Um, I, they are not boneless or skinless, but you could use boneless or skinless if you like. I got these ones on sale, actually. They had a dollar off coupon on them, so these ones are 97 cents, 92 cents, and 88 cents for these three packages, which was an awesome deal. Again, um, if people are hating on you for getting stuff cheap like that, you know what? They don't need to eat your food because there's nothing wrong with getting a good deal. Next we have the rest of our ingredients for the soup base, not for the dumplings, but just for the soup base. And we are going to chop up our carrots, our celery, our onions, And we're going to add our garlic to that mixture. Now out of all the spices that we have, the garlic and the sage are going to be the most important. Those are like pivotal to the whole taste and everything of this uh, recipe. But also I like to add a little bit of thyme and basil and actually a good capful of parsley. So now I'm going to turn that on about medium and I'm using this giant stock pot because when I make chicken and dumplings, I make chicken and dumplings for real. Um, I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil, just drizzle a whole bunch of that down in the bottom of the pan, and I'm going to add my carrots and celery and onions. Now I'm going to add my garlic, and there's not a whole lot left down in there, so I'm just going to add it all, because you know how I love garlic. I'm going to saute that up for a little bit until everything starts to either brown, or the onions and the celery should start to get a little bit translucent. So we'll come back to it in a few minutes. So as you can see... I got distracted and we have little bitty burnt pieces in there, but I saved most of it. I had to take all of this out and totally scrub the bottom of this pan because it was ridiculous. So now I am going to add my chicken broth, um, which you can use just chicken bouillon if you like. I like to use either one, whatever I have. I don't have chicken bouillon at the moment. <coughs> so I'm going to add my chicken broth 
And then we're gonna put our chicken in there. So here's my chicken, and I am just gonna pop that in there. I took the skin off of it just because something in my brain tells me that that would be healthier. It's probably really not. But um, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to kind of cover over the all of the chicken and make sure it all gets boiled well. To that I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, um, my all-important sage, my parsley, my basil, and just a little bit of thyme because that's pretty strong. I may end up going back in and adding some more sage later. Um, possibly more salt too. I think we're good on pepper. Um, but we'll just have to taste it later after we don't have raw chicken in it. And now I'm gonna let that boil until all the chicken is cooked. And we'll come back after that. Looks like those are about done. So I am going to turn that off and I'm going to start taking that chicken out and letting it cool so that I can take it off the bone and tear it up and put it back in later after we do our dumplings. So I'm tasting my broth real quick just to see if it needs anything else. Um, it may need a little bit of salt, but other than that, it tastes really good. Here are the ingredients for my dumplings. Um, if you prefer, you can do a lot easier dumpling recipe with this Jiffy um, all-purpose baking mix, or you know, any kind of baking mix usually has a good recipe for dumplings on the back. So much quicker, so much easier. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Focus. Anyway, so much quicker and easier. But I'm gonna go the hard way because my family prefers it. And now my dog thinks he's gonna start cooking with me and he is not. For our dumplings, we're gonna do two cups of flour. teaspoons of baking powder and we're going to put that right on top of the flour um, and we're going to mix that in with that so that it doesn't get all clumpy in there make people taste the baking powder which is first. Then we're going to make a little well in the center of our flour mixture and we're going to add our eggs. And our cup of milk. Stir that up in there. Now that's obviously way too sticky to actually roll out and make into dumplings that way. And since it is 2 o'clock in the morning, I am just going to turn this back on so that it will start boiling. And I'm just going to drop little um, drops of it, of the batter, into the broth and that will make dumplings just as well. Um, they may not be the texture that some people want them, but it's fine. Okay, so we got her boiling again and we're just going to start 
dropping little clumps in there. They don't have to be fancy. Um, my family really f prefers them all rolled out and more like almost noodly. But again, it's past 2 o'clock in the morning, so you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And you just drop them all over um, so they don't stick together. Try not to drop them on top of each other. Once a bunch of them are in there, that's going to be really hard. But um, <clears throat> after a bunch of them get in there, you'll have to start stirring it a little bit after every couple of drops. And see how after they um, cook for a minute, they start popping up to the top. That's what you want to see. But that doesn't mean that they're done. They're still kind of gooey on the inside. So these are going to have to cook for probably a good 10-15 minutes before they're edible. And even maybe a half an hour until they're correct. I hope you guys like that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. Um, thank you for hanging out with me in my insomnia. I hope yours is as productive as mine. Um, get some sleep.